Hey guys, welcome to Play With Me, my time at Sandrock and this is episode 209 and Ma and Pa are coming over now. Uh, yeah, there's some not getting out a bit in case there's a cut scene right as I step out. So, Ma is here today. Oh, there we go. Alright, there we go. What did I tell you? What did I <laughs> look at that look at that look at that look at that ma is normal look at my pa look at my pa man well i i wonder if the face shape is uh tailored you know Wow, look at my pa. You know he's my pa. You know, you know in a crowd he's my pa. But my ma, probably not. But, you know, still, still, she, she's pretty. She's pretty. Hey, we're here. Look at you. You look so mature and professional and... You, we really have to give it to Sandrock. We really, really have to give it to, to this uh, company. Look at that. Do you see the family resemblance? Did you grow an inch? <laughs> Might be the shoes. We've got so much to tell you about. We'll have plenty of time to catch up. Let's get our bags to the hotel, huh? Oh, is that Mayor Trudy? Mayor Trudy, we meet at last! Let me just say, it has been not just an honor, but an absolute delight to have your child here in Sandra. You could have just saved our town, and we'd have been eternally grateful. But you just had to go the extra mile and be a wonderful person while doing it. Sounds par for the course. Oh, you hear that? Oh, I'm so proud of what you've done here. Proud of you too. That's that's so con that's that's like so patronizing. Oh I brought you a yakmel milk as discussed. This is the real fresh stuff. The exported kind is good, but oh just try it for yourself. You take it cold, yes? <laughs> Raw yakmel milk. Well I learned to drink it cold. When you were a baby, as a matter of fact. You know, Trudy. Heat up your Yakmel milk, chase the kid around, come back to find it cold. Oh, <laughs> I prefer mine hot. Uh, do you have another? Oh, uh, I don't, but that sounds lovely. There's so much to see here. When the celebrations are over, I want you to show us everything. I hate to tear you away from your folks like this, but they actually sent me to come get you. Do you mind running over to Martel Square to check in with General Ling? Oh, we don't want to keep you from something important, dear. Pa, let's get our bags to the Blue Moon. Thanks for meeting us at the station. Looks like they want you to get to that meeting. Don't worry, you can introduce us to everyone later. And I agree with your Ma. I want to see all the things you've done here, too. We really missed, but I can see already how important coming here was for you. Even the way you stand. You're more confident now. Of course. I wasn't crazy about all that Dubo stuff. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm starting to sound like love you. See you in the square. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, yeah. We weren't going to miss this. Man. Do you need something of us? I am pleased to inform you that you all are guests of honor. I wanted to make sure personally that- That's kind of- Of course, of course. Um, well- Did we miss anything? Shh, it's starting. Friends, citizens, people of the free cities, welcome to the Alliance Quinquennial Summit. Quinquennial. <laughs> it has been an honor already for our humble city to host this event thus far. I've heard only great things about our speakers. 
Let's have a round of applause for all of our fabulous volunteers. My talk went over time. And now, it is with great pleasure, I inform all of you the results of our first day of talks. It is clear to us all that the Duvos Empire is posing an ever greater threat to our great alliance. First, the attack on Sandrock. Then, the rogue knight in Portia. And finally, the aggression toward our friends in Athea up north. This cannot stand. Various solutions have been proposed, some of which will be drafted and voted upon as policy in the near future. We have also agreed that bolstering the northern settlements bordering the Duvos conquered Athean territory and developing a more interconnected alliance economy are keys to our security. Questions remain, however, as to how exactly this will be carried out. We'll need much more capital investment and capacity if we're to succeed in our plans. Some delegates even brought up the possibility of unifying the taxes and economy planning of the Free Cities. But so far, that's not on the agenda, as we all do value our independence. But one thing we were able to unanimously agree upon is that what happened here in Sandrock over the last few years is nothing short of a miracle. And for that reason, the Summit Delegates have taken it upon themselves to personally thank some of the key players in making our town into what it is today. We have... Ahem. First off, I would like to call forward my friend and longtime colleague, Zeke. Uh. Come on up here, Zeke. You deserve this. Mr. Zeke, after learning your story, our delegates, as well as the other researchers of Vega-5, were absolutely blown away. Many of our scientists are known for having their heads in the clouds, looking to replicate old-world technology. But you used your brilliant mind and incredible tenacity right here on the ground, making our free cities a better and more sustainable place for all of us to live. For these reasons and more, on behalf of our Council, I hereby award you with the Alliance Council Award for Outstanding Achievement in the Field of Science. Congratulations, Zeke. <laughs> Thanks. Some fights are over in a flash, and some are fought across a lifetime. There stands among us a man who could tell us all about that. A war fought across a lifetime. This man will go down in the history books, as a hero, as an inspiration. Whenever you're about to give up, I hope you will remember this man who never did. For the man who always believed in Sandrock, the Alliance Council would like to bestow upon Mr. Mort with the Free Cities Lifetime Achievement Award. Mr. Mort. Please join your son on the stage and accept your award. Thank you, sir. We have one more award to give out. One that we just nearly overlooked. Miss Mian, could you please come to the stage? Thank you, everyone. I'm honored to be giving out the Commerce Guild's Top Builder Award. It only seemed right that I nominate the person I thought best fit that description. Captain. <laughs> the recipient of this award is not just a great builder, but a great friend to all the people of Sanra. When I first met you, I said, Do you remember? I said, Let's make a promise, builder to builder. A promise to take Sanra back to its glory days. Back then, I wasn't sure if I really believed we really could. Shoot for the moon. For if you miss, you may still land among the stars, as they say. But as time went on, and I saw you do these things, these incredible things, I wanted to follow your example and do my best to keep my promise to you. And because of your dedication, your hard work, your incredible ability, your inspiring presence, you kept that promise. Not for me, not for yourself, but for all of us. 
It is with great pleasure I inform you all that it's not just my opinion, but the opinion of the entire Free Cities Commerce Guild, that our Free Cities next top builder is none other than you! Yay, it's me, and my parents get to see this. Welcome to the club. It's my honor to share this stage with you. Congratulations! Ooh, looks good on you. It was this or your builder in Porsche. No hard feelings, eh, old chap? None at all. All right, take a bow, you three. One more round of applause for the heroes of Sandrock. Wow. I this hereby looks great. conclude the summit's announcements. Now, let's go party! All right, now we are going to the banquet. <laughs> Banquet table. Psst. Over here, can you sit with a Wow, right. Hello, and thank you all for coming. Let's celebrate to our heart's content for today. Tomorrow morning, we ride the airship. But for now, cheers to a new age for Sandrock. Let's dig in. Between the general and Avery, hmm. It's gonna be a bit hard to eat. After working together from afar for so long, it's nice to finally meet. I've been rooting for you all since the beginning and, well, it's wonderful to be able to see for myself what all you've been able to accomplish. The sun is shining, the weather is warm, and there's flowers and grass are as far as the eye can see. I honestly can't wait to bring my daughter here to see these changes. I truly believe that Sandrock's back on the map. It looks a bit thinner. And we truly need you guys. With the development of Portia and Sandrock, the center of the Alliance is no longer a weak spot. I second that notion. And may I also add that it's wonderful to see our two Highwinders here making such fantastic contributions to the process. Indeed, they are a living testament to the power of the free cities working together. But hey, when are you going to give us our builder back, huh? <laughs> I kid, I kid. But dang, you guys sure did get the pick of the litter. Oh, but also, to show our support, I brought a few gifts seeds and such from our botany school to help out with your planting team. And, uh, you know, we're not exactly new to the planting game either, so we'd love to collab sometime. Oh, naturally. I see what you did there. Oh, by the way, Mayor Trudy, I do hope you'll take into consideration my words during the summit. The Duvos affair had quite an impact on our tentative peace treaty with them. Yes. I don't doubt- Not to mention that horrid news from Portia. What has become of your rogue knight anyhow, Gale? You know, the one that destroyed a quarter of your city with that doomsday device? She goes by Wendy now. Quaint. As for the rogue knight, he's disappeared without a trace. Right. We're working with the flying pigs to track him down. After the Portia incident, we also did a full sweep of the military hierarchy looking for any more Duvos spies. At least so far, we haven't found any. Are there any indication that Duvos will expand their land grab of Athea? Will the Alliance react? My settlement plans will be in shambles if there's an actual shooting war. That is up to the Council to decide, but the guards stand ready to- Ahem, <laughs> my fellow delegates, today is cause for celebration. Of course, of course. It's this Yakmel milk. Got my mouth running. I'll have another glass to make amends then. Mayor Trudy, your town's band has quite a unique sound. It's a little country and a little rock. I can even hear some heavy metal vibes in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's our Kugo band. Cooper's a rancher and Hugo's a blacksmith here in town. Uh, that's the heavy metal vibes. Ahem. 
I didn't see our director, Chi. Pity he didn't attend, though I'm not surprised. I heard he's here researching some spaceship ruins. It's the Starship Ruins, Administrator Curie. Your assumption is not unfounded, but your conclusion is misinformed. Yeah, that, that's what you get asking for him, like, right now. He's really fun at parties. <gasps> no, 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 please don't. He's, he's gonna mess up our food. Oh, he's pretty good, though. Dancing robot, and it's not harming anyone. <laughs> I, I know I was holding my breath too. I was holding my breath. looks like a great party the jewel of the Ufala. yep everybody is here look at my mother look at my pie it looks exactly like me my color scheme oh wow he's here too me got dream job move thing for kugo band go on tour go from house to stage again and again bring all right let's see what this um Pancha Duvos. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Me am only one not happy? Huh? There's cat. I thought there was a cat or something. Okay. Hoopa? Well, looks like things are about wrapping up around here. Yep. Peace looks like my work. You, on the other hand, you're sure you took care of the lizard people, the mole men, the rat conspiracy, as well as the shadowy cabal that sought to divide. Not bad for your first adventure. Reminds me of myself at your age. Of course, I might have handled it all with a bit more finesse. Anywho, there's still plenty of rogue factions still on the radar. The moon men, for example. Whoa, really? A bit of a backstory on the Moon Men. Just want to be sure you've got the motivation. We can hardly declare war on a group of individuals if we ain't properly identified our qualms with them and their ways of life and why they're bad. The Moon, as we all know, is simply a projection. A hologram that comes from a machine built by the werewolf people. Remember this name, although they won't be relevant again until the DLC. That stands for Delayed Till Later Conflict. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Anyway, the Moon Men they lost their home in the Great Moon Wars thousands of years ago. Since then, they've been biding their time, gaining power at any moment. And I'm talking about literally any moment. I'm talking now. Okay, how about now or now? That sounds that unsure. All right, so maybe not right this moment, but like I said, could literally be any moment. These moon men will burst out of the crust of our planet and begin laying waste to our prairies and fields, fondling our churches, burning our... to turn our planet now. This goal, it's understandable to... Unfortunately, this puts us at irreparable odds and ends with the moon men, being the we... Now, I reckon I'm not completely against the idea of some sort of compromise. Could we turn part of our planet into the moon a little bit? Maybe carve out a little island for them to live peacefully and do moon stuff? This is starting to get painful. <laughs> <laughs> 
just spitballing here. Uh, we don't have to go with it. I mean, we'd have to run it by the moon, men. Uh, check it for copyright, but uh, I don't know. Uh, workshop it. <laughs> uh, that's your thing, right? Uh, look, just let it be known that we didn't not explore other options. Of course you know that. What am I oh saying? Oh my goodness. You're, yep. Be seeing you then, which is to say, so long. And, uh, you know, do me a favor, will you? Really? Really? Really, really? Really? Take care of yourself. Take care of myself. I wanted to kill myself. Hmm. Long time ago, I had seven identical... So, note to everyone else out there watching this, do not talk to Cooper. And that was so painful. Your head is looking very symmetrical today. Furthermore, your mind is like an industrial strength wow. drill, always finding its way quickly through the earth to valuable resources. Or how about, you shine bright like a power stone. I'm trying out something called complimenting. Do you find any of these acceptable? Yes, very. Thank you. It is very acceptable. <laughs> Hello. I got to admit, I sort of make it my business to be out of the way, unassuming and all that. Hey there. Hey, there's my best pal. Say, when the next big construction projects come along... Man, is this the end of the story? You've done us proud. Yep, okay. There you are! Man, who's this? Oh my gosh! Oh! Are we keeping you? Don't worry, we're not going anywhere. Look at you! All grown up, <laughs> dependable. My baby's all grown up. And. Well, do you see the family resemblance? <laughs> wait, wait, I... Let me see, how to stand nearer to my pa? There we go, there we go. Do you see the family resemblance? <laughs> that is my pa right there. I am impressed that... You know, Sand... Sandrock really made this game great. Okay. I guess that's that way. My baby's all. Enjoy the party and wait for tomorrow. Congratulations! I heard from Mayor Trudy that after you arrived in Sandrock, there were tremendous changes. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hmm. Oh my stars! The food in Sandrock is just incredible. It's all organic and fresh. That yak mill milk. Oh my stars. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna steal that. From now onwards, I'm gonna say, Oh my stars. Be wary of basking in the soothing embrace of glory. We've won the battle, but the specter of conflict is still on the horizon. Hmm. Congrats, Builder! Verna. Don't talk to Verna. Nothing, Musa. Yak mill milk really is one of the most unique drinks in the fr unforgettable experience. We are quite proud that one of our builders has been your partner throughout all this. Wow, so much cultural and entertainment output here. I'm sorry you all had to be the side of a skirmish. As someone who's been through it, I know it can You all have made rather impressive technological progress here in Sandrock. We'll sure. never forget how surprised we were to find out that... Alright, I guess that's that. I'm looking forward to our airship... I've been around, seen things, experienced more. 
some of my wares, the effects can be. Market prize are all. Let's see this. Banquet table. Is this the bigger banquet table? Because the one that we have only can invite a few people. Or are we supposed to have two banquet tables? Hmm. Oh, abandon it. Why would you? No, I would never abandon it. Cilantro. Garlic. We have chili and seaside pepper. A broken promise, a broken heart to end your marriage. No, I will never do that to Unsure. Furniture chest. Rattan chair, rattan tea table. Why not? I mean, like, why not? Ah, that's the vintage thing. Okay. Um, man, all these cloaks kind of look nice. This will go in my hair. <laughs> Everybody's out here. The rest of them are out here. <gasps> oh, Antra's alone. Hey, baby. Darling, I can't believe I only wrote you. Yeah. What? Why is Mint out here? I I thought he helped. Hey, if you ever get the chance. Mint and Ernest. After the third sandstorm, I decided to observe the Crimson Town by morning and wait to witness the first person who dared to kick a tumbleweed. I told myself then and there that this person would unequivocally and instantly be my lifelong friend. Oh, sorry. I was just experimenting with the stream of consciousness style of writing. Isn't it amazing? Can I eat something? No, I can't seem to sit down and eat something. X is my family. Alright. Gift. Give you more food. Thank you. For you. Correct. No cuddle? Pets? Yeah. Hmm. You know, I never expected to succeed. I'd already... If I didn't, it was only when you showed up that I've ended. I tried that feeling of remembering. We failed so many... So, if it ever seemed like I was, I was always pulling for you. We lost a lot on the way. No one could really say, but at least it wasn't all for nothing. A lot of people have looked down on me because of where I'm from, or put me aside as just another pretty face. But. But you are kind of pretty. <laughs> I'm glad I met you here in Sandrock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's talk to Arlo. Make him feel welcome, but he has nothing to say. Recently, I've made some progress with my love life. In the end, my significant other didn't really care for what... Howdy, neighbor. That's one thing that... Of course, it didn't make no difference to me, but... 
Let me give you a small piece of be kind to everyone you meet. Also, being kind is its own. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Hey there! Did you I know I haven't been roaming Sandrock for long, but I you're like the leading character in a musical. All I'm convinced that education in Sandrock will soar in no time. I've always believed that education is a wealth that no one can ever rob us of. And I trust that the once I was just a plain old teacher, but now If you got something to say to me, just say it! I haven't always been like. Hey there! I just wanted to say, I know my gratitude might not seem like much, but I used to think that the bit of sky visible through the trash was all there was to the world. But since coming to seeing all the good you've done for this town has sh I used to feel like an outsider in this world, thinking I could never- So, thank you from the- all right we have to wait for tomorrow oh wait since everyone is around here um right. would would the combinations be a lot easier because everyone is all in one place <laughs> right okay there we go there we go. Oh, wow. Wow. Hey, actually, where is we? Where is we? I... Six steel braces. Whoa, then 10,000. Okay. Two, three, and four. Steel braces. Um, let's see this. I think I should have enough for steel braces. Six. Assemble. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey Banjo! Ah! Hey, look at these. Do you like this? Yes, you do! Macchiato. Oh, yeah. Now, Macchiato doesn't want to talk to me. Look at that. He doesn't want to talk to me. No interactive sign. Ah, well. Oh, two is done. Three. Let's go check on our burner. 89. Yep. Look at the amount of drags that we have. So, <clears throat> there we go. There's so many. Uh oh. <laughs> I think I put out too much extra. But oh well, so I guess guess we do have hopefully we do have enough space for all of that extra all right there we go six collect let's take mo i just like mo the way it runs what? Who's here? Rocky, you're going back to work now? <laughs> See ya! Alright. Way. Way's not at a dinner. And. 
Why is Wei not at the dinner? Like, there are two banquets right there. Oh, come on, Wei. Hmm. Excelsior! Here, here! To the greatest. <laughs> Never have I pitied my brother more than now. He had all this potential at his fingertips. Builders like you and me, Anne, in the same guild at this. Uh, I'd write him to rub it in his face. Bah! Let's not waste this moment. Excelsior. <laughs> Maybe I should use this word from now onwards. It's like great, awesome, Excelsior. Hmm. Oh, lime limestone bricks. Do I have any limestone bricks now? No, I don't. There we go. Let's wait for more of a discount. Market prices to drop. And then T is inside here. A blue moon saloon. Oh, you go. Yes, and thank you. Uh huh. My baby's all grown. Well, there is nothing. Actually, we can just go to bed like right now. Oh, magic mirror. <laughs> you see, magic mirror is at the feast. So it's like, why is it way at the feast and rocky? Man. They should, they should let loose a little. Okay, let's do this. Come on, come on. I got three of these. Oh, come on. Hot pot, hot pot. Man, no hot pot. <laughs> Come on. The size that is not great. Oh, there we go. Rose Willow. Three. There we go. Man. So this level four is the best. And this has been planting a lot more or a lot longer than these, to be honest. And these are still at level 2. Man, that's really slow. But... Never mind. There we go, and um, let's see. Look at the itinerary. Banquet, and we have the flight, so. It is three o'clock, let's see. Showdown at high noon. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Is it uh, T's birthday today? 
Yeah, it's T's birthday. Right. All right. Since it's its birthday, we have a uh, inflated astronaut model, DNA model, spaceship model, basically models. Okay, let's see what models we can get him. Well, I mean, it's kind of his. It, not not other models. It must it must be like space kind of model. Let's see. Golfing astronaut model. Oh, there we go. DNA model. Yep, he will definite flag waving. Astronaut model is his favorite. Golfing. Yep, no. Let's see this DNA model. Flag waving. I mean, we, we don't really need his approval. Ah, oh, there we go. Two, four, okay. Three, two, we need the first piece. Alright, let's take a look at furniture. Artifacts Hmm All right, DNA model it is Man I want my hot pot. <laughs> there we go. I hope I didn't waste it on a, a data disk. Where is he? Kit. And wait, what? Where is it? I thought I had it. Man, now I lost it. Man, I lost it. Oh well. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, no. oh my stars. Oh my stars. Oh my stars. Oh my stars. Hmm. Okay, I, I just hope that they are in furniture hmm. okay i will be right back after i find it i have no idea where it is i hope it's inside here oh man it isn't okay you know what maybe i didn't do it Oh, 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 thank goodness. <laughs> it is still, it is still, uh, fixing. It's still fixing. It's still printing. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I lost it. There we go. Perfect. Wait, what? HP 104. Nice. Ah, oh, macchiato? Yeah. Hey, hello you. Um, not sure. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> not, not too impressed, but 
it's uh, increased by three, so. There we go. All right. It's tea. Gift. Gift. Happy birthday! Yes. Yes, I remembered it. Happy birthday. All right. So I guess I'll end it here, and then. I'm gonna go back and have an early day. Like super early day. 5.30. Find the kid. Where is my son? Yeah. My mom and pa are not holding my son. Oh. <gasps> oh no. He's hungry. Mm. But he's not like asking for other things, you know what I'm saying? Huh? Like he's not asking for... Yeah. Mm. Alright, come. Split. Something to draw with. There you go. Can you see three generations of uh... <laughs> three generations? Yeah. So I I guess he's kind of like a dusty colored version of me because of unsure. Unsure is you know, you know it adds a bit of tint to to his hair color. Mine is real bright. Because this is black and yeah, a bit of beige to the purple I am. So, well, guys, please do like and subscribe. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next episode. Ta ta. Mm -hmm.